Hi friends, this is Deva for Welcome channel. Welcome means description. This channel will describe all useful day-to-day -day life requirements. Today topic is the fire theory part 1. The topic will help to all of us. But especially who are working in oil and gas, refineries, petrochemical, chemical and farm industries. Hopefully they will get basic knowledge and which one is very vital for industries workers and who are looking for industries work on on job knowledge development looking for gulf countries job right okay this video describe briefly and easily understandable for the following topics let's go fire theory part one contains total six topics one is fire triangle or combustion triangle second one the fire tetrahedron third one fire reaction fourth one factors influencing fire fifth one source of ignition sixth one why fire is hot by one details go the first topic is fire triangle first we should know what is a fire normally a fire contains element that anything like pepper, wood, plastic, paints, gasoline, etc. plus element oxygen. Oxygen present everywhere, right? As the atmosphere air plus element 3 as spark for ignition source. This all together gives as a fire, right? So the triangle illustrates very simply understandable about these three elements a fire need to ignite heat, fuel and an oxidizing agent usually oxygen. A fire naturally occurs when the elements are present and combined in the right mixture. Okay. The next topic is fire tetrahedron. You can see in your home, stove fire, candle fire, or in factory, furnace burner fires, etc. How firing? They are continuous, right? Yes. Once ignited, whereby fires can sustain their own heat by the further release of heat energy in the process of combustion until the continuous supply of an oxidizer and fuel available. This fire chain is called tetrahedron. This tetrahedron is very simply illustrated about fire chain reaction. Okay. Next topic is fire reaction. What? Fire reaction? Is there fire as reaction? Yes, obviously. Fire is the result of a chemical reaction called combustion. At a certain point in the combustion reaction called the ignition point flames are produced but this reaction are based on fuel which are involved the fuel with oxygen react and break the fuel into fuel radical it is called the transient free radicals it is continuously it, it is continuity of reaction primarily release of carbon dioxide, water vapor, oxygen and nitrogen. What? Nitrogen also? Yes. Nitrogen. Air consists of only 21% of oxygen, right? Remaining all are nitrogen, right? So this nitrogen at most not involving in fire, fire reactions. Okay. So the fire release nitrogen, somewhat called NOx nitrogen oxides okay next topic is fire factors influencing fire are there any factors influencing to fire yes fire cannot occur at all circumstances right typically fire comes from a chemical reaction between oxygen in the atmosphere and some sort of fuel wood or gasoline of course, wood and gasoline doesn't spontaneously catch on fire just because they are surrounded by oxygen. 
for the combustion reaction to happen you have to heat the fuel to its ignition temperature also the mixture of fuel and oxygen should be a certain composition for a fire reaction right so what are the influence the influencing point one is plus point or fire point you know a plus point of a flammable liquid is defined as the lowest temperature at which it can form an ignitionable mixture in air fire point which is a slightly higher temperature is the temperature at which vapors of the flammable liquid continue to burn after being ignited even the after the source of ignition is removed okay next second point is auto ignition or kindling temperature this is very important key point for any kind of chemical process design and operation just remember you can hear about hot spot temperature flammable zone fire point etc or any other name for process safety intervals right yes this is the temperature at which fuel gets ignited without any external heat source what without any external heat source fire can happen that is the kindling temperature or auto ignition temperature you, you know that an employee of oil and gas oil refinery petrochemical or chemical factory is not a less than a military man how a military man role there is an helmi at any time he take an attack right same the employees are working at dangerous zone at any time anything can happen so safety is until control only right so be aware on process safety procedure and adhere 100% next one the limits of flammability that is l e l u e l lower and upper explosive limits for flammable gases and vapors in oil and in oil and gas oil refinery petrochemical or chemical factory everyone knows about this factor but not clearly how it is manipulating the fire theory let's carefully listen this before a fire or explosion can occur three condition must be meet simultaneously a fuel combustible gas example and oxygen air must exist in certain proportion along with an ignition source such as a spark or flame the ratio of fuel and oxygen that is required varies with each combustible gas or vapor the minimum concentration of a particular combustible gas or vapor necessary to support its combustion in air is defined as the lower explosive limit lel for that gas below this level the mixture is too lean or to lean to burn whereas the maximum concentration of a gas or vapor that will burn in air is defined as the upper explosive limit above this limit the mixture is too rich or rich to burn the range between the lel and uel is known as the flammable range for that gas or vapor for example take methane here lel 5% by volume in air uel is 17% by volume in air less than 5% by volume is lean to burn otherwise we can say the concentration not adequate to fire the process whereas above 17% by volume concentration of vapor is too rich to burn do you know that ul is not stable at atmosphere 
due to at any point the rich concentration become to explosive range by the dilution of air once reach within range and catch fire then it will take place chain reaction of fire be careful next topic is source of ignition how fire can occur yes certainly we need some ignition source right that is occur an activation energy to be ignited and to break oxygen molecule bond absorbs energy right how is kind of ignition energy available here some sort of ignition source or we will see electrical heat energy leakage of current heat from arcsin static electricity lightning same as like mechanical heat energy mechanical heat energy or el frictional heat energy frictional spark heat of compression same like in chemical heat energy heat of combustion and spontaneous heating like fire in help of coal then heat of decomposition like cellulose nitrate heat of solution like sulfuric acid plus water then nuclear heat energy alpha beta gamma like all heat radiations neutron heat radiation also like many kinds of ignition source ready available in surrounding of us the last one is why fire is hot this question might be joke right understand what you asking fire should be a hot right the question is it obviously hot then why you asking this just recall sir isaac newton gravity apple story ever one should be well known right when he asking this question was great joke why apple fallen from tree but the gravity theory formed from this question and many innovations are discovered right same like this question why fire is hot this question discovered many fire theories like chemical energy can be converted into electrical energy the energy can store and reuse it it is the basic fundamental for almost of every economic activity of the chemical theories actually why fire is hot fire emits heat and light because the chemical reaction that produce flames is exothermic in in other words we can say combustion release more energy than is needed in to ignite or sustain it this release of energy cause fire hot understand now right okay today topic is over thank you for this watching this is my just my knowledge sharing at last one kind of energy can be converted into another one energy right same to you friends i hope this video very useful for your basic knowledge on fire theory right and give your support to this channel by subscribe and press bell icon to continue our bond in next video fire theory part 2 thank you very much